your Thank you. Honestly, I already knew that wasn't going to go well because I already have a speech impediment and I am not good with language barriers. So, I promise you, promise you that you'll never be another person as mentally tough as you in your entire life. And he hasn't. All right, y'all, so I finally am about to do a day in the life of vlog for y'all. I know this is highly anticipated, and I don't know why it's taking me forever to do it. Probably because you gotta wake up even earlier. I'm already tired, y'all. It's early, it's before the crack of dawn. Like, it's too early out here for me. And then not only that, I barely went to sleep last night. I was up until about 3 a.m. It wasn't no dispatcher issues. I was really outside kicking it. I'm a little tired, but I made sure I got this vlog done for y'all. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And make sure y'all comment too. Like, I got a new office space. I'm not too sure what to all put in here. So if y'all got some suggestions, let me know. And y'all about to be with me today. So it's gonna be dispatching. Then I just got off the phone with my social media manager. So he gonna be coming up to the office space pretty soon too. And yeah, we're gonna get it started. And I'm excited for y'all to see what a day in the life of Nina looks like as a dispatcher. All right, so I'm about to start making these uh, calls to the brokers. And y'all, once again, I'm a little tired. I definitely didn't get enough sleep last night, but we finna get into it. And honestly, I'm only telling y'all that to let you know, like, even if you don't have the uh, that utmost energy, this is something you could do and it's super chill and you still gonna make your money. While I'm going through it, I am gonna give y'all some little tips and tricks and we're gonna go along through it. So. Come with me to make this first call. And I only need to book a couple of OTR loads because the majority of my guys are already booked up. So that's because you can book loads in advance, which I highly recommend, especially if you have a reliable driver and carrier. Um, so for the people that I did get booked up already, I'm about to make those calls so y'all get to be a part of that. TQL is very reputable. Um, nine times out of 10, at some point in time, you're gonna book a load through TQL, but they be trying to scam. Like they do not be trying to pay. Hi, David. I was calling about the load you have going from St. Louis, Missouri to Austin, Texas. I have the post ID if you need it. Yes, what would that be, ma'am? For a flatbed, 48 feet, 15,000 pounds. Yes, that load is still available, ma'am. Let me get you on over to our posting team. They'll be able to help you with that. Okay, thank you. That's the one thing I do want to say. Make sure y'all get a post ID. It makes it much easier. They just type it in and send you to the right person. Don't just tell them where to load, pick it up and dropping off. Give them whatever specifics they put on the ad. And honestly, if they don't answer this phone in the next two rings, I'm hanging up because ain't nobody got time for that. That was one. So I was calling about the load you have going from St. Louis, Missouri to Austin, Texas. Is that one still available? Uh, yeah, you have a post ID? Yes, it is. 
when the broker started talking about the loads, started writing everything down as a cross reference. No problem. We go ahead and transfer you over to the rep. Okay, thank you. Yep. I'm finna hang up because they need to have this together. Um, honestly, I don't even play that game. I just got transferred twice in a less than five minute span. Who is the rep? Like, I don't even play like that. Especially not with no TQL. But on to the next one. Hmm. Only thing about this one though, is going to a semi no-no zone. So the day ahead, not bad. It's only a 70 mile day ahead. That's not bad at all. And it's picking up in Gerald, Missouri and delivering in Denver, Colorado. Now that's not a bad thing. Only thing is, Sometimes getting into Colorado is great, but getting out is not always the best. But the real issue is definitely the mountains. So if you ever send in your people to like a mountain, a mountain place, like I was gonna say a real mountainy place, but seriously, if you send in somebody there, make sure that's something that they're comfortable with because you don't want to run a risk of them burning out their brakes, coming down in steep mountains, anything like that, because it do get scary. I was actually driving box trucks in the mountains. Scary, scary, scary. But on to the next broker. Hi, I was calling about the load you have going from Gerald, Missouri to Denver, Colorado. Is that still available? Yeah, I have one left. Okay, and it has to be delivered on Monday. Can I be delivered beforehand? If it's a team uh, driver. Yeah, I think they're Monday or Friday over there. So if you're picking up tomorrow, it's the earliest would be Monday. Okay. You said you have it at twenty seven hundred. That'll put it at oh that's not bad. It's right at about three dollars a month. Yeah, I was about to say that is that is as much as I can get into right now. Come up a couple hundred just to get moved in. I don't have any money left, so <laughs> That's all, always the worst feeling as a broker or a dispatcher coming out either at zero or breaking even. But that's, well, that's what we're doing. Breaking even, but sometimes you gotta cover your bases, you know. Yeah, yeah I understand for sure. Um, and you said you would need six foot to eight foot tarps. Yeah, at least six foot tarps. Um, yeah, at least uh, six foot tarps. You, you can do eight foot if you wanted to. Okay. Um, do you mind sending me over the broker carrier agreement? I'm not sure if we've ever registered with you guys, but I do want to confirm with my driver that that's something he would like to do. Yeah, well, um, for sure. If you just want to check with your driver, uh, give me a call back. I'm going to leave the house, but I want to get you that confirmation beforehand so I can okay. still have get, you, get you setting everything. Um, so you either put me on the other line or you can call right back. I can call right back. Give me less than five minutes. Okay, sounds good. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. Bye. So, if your carrier is already set up with that broker, you don't need to do a, an entire new broker carrier agreement. You only do that the initial time that you're booking a load with that broker. So you only do it when you're signing up with a new broker. But since we're already signed up, we don't have to do that. The only thing is, I need to confirm with my driver that that's something he actually wants to do. All right, so he did not like that load, but I kind of figured that he wouldn't. Like, once you get to know your drivers, you know what you can and cannot introduce to them. But I am trying to get him booked up beforehand because I got stuff to do tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, okay? So I'm trying to get this done now. So I'm about to call this load. He might take this one, though, because this is going to his home state, too. So let's see. Once again, always use the post ID. Thank you for calling Coyote Logistics. All representatives are servicing customers at this time. Please continue to hold for the next available representative. This is why I hate calling a dip to book loads. Like, honestly, when you book through email, it literally happens like this. But I needed to call so we can make this video and I can just get this all done. But if they don't answer in a minute, I'm gonna call this other load. So they got one minuto. But anyway, yeah, like, yeah, this be so simple. Like, 
you really just going through the load board, trying to figure out which load best suits your needs. And just always remember to at least attempt to negotiate for more. Honestly, if it's not at your offer baseline, then you don't need to be doing it. Like that's, I didn't show y'all, but that's what I was doing. So right now I was calculating the offer baseline, which is going to be, it is a 45 mile dead head. So we're not going to include that in the mileage plus the MC number? Thank you. Honestly, I already knew that wasn't going to go well because I already have a speech impediment and I am not good with language barriers. So, um, in those situations, I usually don't book with the broker that I know I'm already having trouble with understanding. Um, not to be rude, but because I, I, I just know I'm not good with that. I'm going to be asking a million times, can you repeat yourself? And it just wastes a lot of time. So that's just how I handle things. Of course, if you do speak their native language or if you are good with uh, fighting through language barriers, that's cool. But I'm not. Um, I already have <laughs> a language barrier in my own, so it just doesn't ever add up. It doesn't work for me. So I'm about to call this other broker. All right, so I'm about to give this broker a call. Um, let me do the offer baseline. So this one is 80 dead head miles, and the total trip is 770 miles to get from Shelby, Illinois to Arlington, Texas. So we're going to do the 70 plus 760, which is the dead head miles plus the total mileage. Um, and for that, for this is, we're now booking a load for a dry van. Um, so that I want at least $2.50 a mile, which is not that bad. That'll put us at 2075 as the offer baseline. Um, Honestly, I'm going to see if we could get that up to 2100 That's only a $25 difference. So, boom. And you want to do this every time before you call. And you also should have checked, uh, in this time, I've also checked the broker's MC number. So, make sure you guys are credit checking as well before you call. So, let me give them a call. And on this one, they have um, an extension. So, we're definitely going to use their extension to try to get... You want to work on patience, start calling them. Because I hate this whole elevator music thing. I don't know why. I just be knowing, like, the process. We finna have a 20-second conversation. Answer the phone. Hurry up. That's how I feel. And it's early. I'm tired. I want this done. I also want to know what I'm finna go do. I need to go get some coffee. I'm dying already. And honestly, this is what it real life looks like. You will be sitting on hold, but... Don't just sit on hold. Like if you've noticed the whole time this has been playing, if I'm not talking to the camera, I'm back on the low board looking for the next thing that we could possibly be interested in. So they could be busy. It's 50 other people trying to call about different loads around the United States. So I can't really bring them. I just be wanting stuff done fast for sure. See, these would be cool, but this got a lot of dead head mileage, so these other ones got like 200, 250, 260 dead head miles, and that's just not worth it. Because um, you don't get paid for them, so it's not really a point of going that many miles out the way to just pick something up. Because then that's going to delay you with delivering because you might run out of drive time. So, not worth it. Hello? All right, so I got one picking up in Shelbyville, Illinois. So that's about 80 miles outside of where you are right now. And it's delivering in Arlington, Texas, so no mountains. So I don't want to hear that, okay? It ain't no mountains. And oh, okay. <laughs> it's right, paying $3 a mile. The total mileage is 770 miles. So the total offer is going to be at 2300 All righty, so I am, I do got to set up with them because it's a new broker. So um, you can start doing your pre-trip right now. And by the time you're done with that, I should be done with the agreement and sending you over the addresses for pickup and delivery. All righty. All righty. 
All right, I'm gonna send you a text message and give you a call back in about an hour. All right, sounds good. Okay, bet. All right, bye. Bye. So, now that I'm done with that, it's not gonna take me an hour to get this all figured out. So right now, it's literally about to take me probably about 10 to 15 minutes to complete this broker carrier agreement because it's all online. You literally just submit it straight to the platform and press submit and the brokers get it right away. And once I get that and the rate con, I can then dispatch out my driver. So he goes to pickup and delivery on time. And only thing that's gonna take about an hour, I usually fill all of that stuff out, send them the text message to go pick up. And then I call them in about an hour and be like, hey, how far are you out away from pickup? Is that and the other? Um, because I just, I've already called him like four times in the span of an hour, so I just don't wanna keep calling. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. So on to the next one. Hello? Hey, yeah, um, I'm, I'm pulling up, um, 20 minutes away, um, uh, there's, there's traffic, um, uh, say I'm uh, 20 minutes away, uh, there's traffic, um. All right, that's not a problem. You, uh, you're you pretty much good. It's a 24 hour shipper, but I did tell them that you would be there by eight. So let me just call and let them know that you're gonna be a little later than that. Okay, I appreciate that. All right, no problem. And I am out eating for right now, so, if I don't call you back immediately, that means everything is good. But if I do, that means we might have a little sitchy situation, okay? Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye. All right.